I tried recording this intro like 10 different times. I feel like my head is all over the place, but first of all, it took every single bone of my body to get myself out of bed this evening to get up and to bake. Um, I don't want to lie in bed, but I need to bake because I'm going to like a church activity tomorrow in my church and it is for all the women and I was asked to bring like to bake something and bring it with me. Um, and I was kind of not sure what I was going to bake and then I remembered I had chocolate cake mix in my pantry um, and then I have these this like mini muffin tray so I thought it could be fun to do instead of making a cake but make like mini cupcakes so mini chocolate cupcakes and then I'll do chocolate like frosting on it as well um, I swear I don't use like packet or like box anything but I feel like when it comes to chocolate cake you just can't beat Betty Crocker you know Betty Crocker has it down to a fine art and I don't want to mess with that um plus it just makes it so much easier when I make it for like a load of people um so yeah I think I got it this time let's make mini chocolate muffins with chocolate frosting <laughs> I'm trying to angle this in a way where like you can still see me and you can also see what I'm doing but the first thing I need to do is um, melt some butter it says vegetable oil or melted butter and the only oil I have is olive oil so I figured I'd be better just to do the butter so I'm only going to do half the recipe I'm pretty sure because there's not actually that many people in my church and like this makes 24 right here and I'm like I feel like that's plenty so I'm gonna go melt this. We don't have a microwave. So I have to melt this in the oven. It's very annoying sometimes I don't have a microwave, but we just like have no place for it besides like sitting up at our counter and that to me is not aesthetically pleasing. So I just survive without a microwave. So I'm gonna melt this in the oven while I get the other stuff ready and then hopefully it'll be good to go. I feel like I'm just gonna have to crack down this whole thing, which is fine. Um, I'm not really going to talk through what I'm doing because it's literally so simple. Um, you just follow the back of the bed rock mix. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that annoying that happened. Well, not that happened today, I guess, that I've just been thinking about today. So I got a text. What's about half the mix, right? I got a text from my dentist. I needed to book in an appointment, you know, like your six month checkup or whatever, which is fine. Um, and it got me thinking that Smith's so nearly three years old and I haven't ever had a dentist appointment for him. So when I called the dentist to get the appointment for Smith, I mean for myself, I asked if there was any way that um, I could get Smith set up. And then I forgot that the NHS is still not accepting like new dentist patients. So basically, I have no idea, unless I pay private, when Smith will get a dentist appointment. I don't really know what the point of this was, but basically, it's shocking to me that COVID was three years ago, when Smith was born, and the NHS has still not figured out how to get people into the dentist. Now, maybe this is just a dairy thing, but like I called a bunch of dentists in dairy, and none of them are accepting new NHS patients. So like... Now I'm like, what are we supposed to do? Like, can you even pay for kids to go private? I'm sure maybe you can, so maybe that's an option. But like the fact that he's three and there's there's no timeline now to tell you when like things are gonna be opened up for kids to get dentist appointments. And then they wonder why people's teeth suck if like he's three and he's never seen a dentist and there's no sign of like them telling you when he will be able to see a dentist. I don't know. It's kind of shocking to me. I feel like there's so many things I love about Northern Ireland over America and I know the healthcare in America is so flawed but it's bad here. It's so bad. Like yes it's free or free because you pay for it in your taxes but like there's something to be said for it being free. I don't know. I feel like that's one thing I could really rant about. Um, I've just had a lot of negative experiences with healthcare since moving back and it's hard because I've experienced my whole adult life in America so I'm used to that like standard of care and now I'm like comparing everything to that 
Um, but I genuinely think it's shocking that he's three and he can't get into the dentist because they're not accepting new patients. And it's like, why? Are there three-year-olds who like were about to get dentist appointments, COVID hit and are now six, who still don't have dentist appointments? Because like that is concerning, you know? I don't know. I feel like that was kind of a random rant. But yeah, let's check up the butter fairly. The butter is still melting. Quick snack break while we wait. Butter is melted <clears throat> a lot longer than I found my face. Um, so I'm just gonna mix that in. Oh, I guess it wasn't all melted. Also, I feel like I've been in a major rut. I kind of talked about this in my vlog with TikTok and um, I forgot that was hot. Ow, that really hurt. I've been in a major rut, I feel like, with TikTok and YouTube at the minute. I feel like YouTube is taking up a lot more time than I expected to. I feel like I've got my TikTok down to like a fine art. Like the videos, some of them take kind of a while to edit, but I just feel like I know how to do it now. I do it like pretty efficiently and I know what kind of content I like to post and I know how to be able to get it all done, like in a day type thing. And I feel like YouTube, I just have not, I just have not mastered it yet. And I know that'll just come with time. I'm gonna pour these into this tray now. I gotta still the sun. But like I said, I know that will just come with time, but I'm just like struggling to even, hmm? I'm struggling to even know what to post, what people like to post. Um, and I just wanna get to the point where I'm like a week ahead of videos. So I'm not so stressed out about it. Like right now I'm filming this on a Monday and I post on a Wednesday. Like that's a really short turnaround for me. Um, Ideally, I'd like to be post, like recording this and uploading it next Wednesday. Um, yeah, I just feel like my life is so chaotic at the minute. Um, but I'm hoping once Trent um, cuts down his hours at work, that will help get me more organized. We're gonna try like tag team it, that maybe I'll get like a few hours in the morning, like to just do like work stuff, like social media stuff. That way I'll be able to get more caught up but we will see i did talk about that oh that reminds me i guess i kind of mentioned this in my last video about how trent is quitting his job I'm not sure how much i want to talk about it so i'm not going to talk a whole ton about it but people were asking like am i going to be the sole like this sole bread winner bread winner i guess am i going to be the only income and the answer to that is is yes but it's very temper temporary it's not like he's not quitting his job to to become a stay-at-home dad because of like me doing social media like it's not like that at all it's basically when we moved to northern ireland he had to get a job so that we could apply for a mortgage so he was basically just kind of getting any job he could so that we could get a mortgage and it was never what he wanted to do long term um and now we've got a house and we've got a mortgage and now he wants to do like an IT course and actually get like a job that he's more interested in. Um, and because of my earnings from TikTok, we're able to do that. We're like in a financial place that he can quit his job for six months to a year, do the course, and then hopefully get a much better job. So that is kind of coming in the pipeline. And I haven't really talked about that at all actually on TikTok. Um, Trent doesn't watch my YouTube, so he'll never know I talked about this here, <laughs> but he does watch my TikToks. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of excited for that because I do think then I will get a bit more me time, which is much needed because I would like to take the social media more seriously um, and I would like to focus on the YouTube more. I did talk about on TikTok how I would like to start posting two videos a week and I feel like once he quits his job, I would maybe have the bandwidth to do that more. Um, but I just want to get settled into YouTube first before I worry about posting two times a week because I can barely, I can barely handle the one day a week. So I did not think this was going to stretch as far as it did. I was actually worried in the first like nine that there wouldn't be enough mi mixture but it actually worked out fine there's actually a bit extra um 
Yum. I'm gonna put the last of the mixture in just like a muffin tin. Where is my muffin tin? This is spray it with a bit of oil because these are silicone so they're really easy to just pop them out but I'm worried that it wouldn't come out of this. Basically I'm just gonna put these in the oven now um, and then I'll show you what they look like when they come out but I'm actually not, oh, did I get my two? Hold on. I'm not going to frost them or ice them, sorry. I feel like I've been there for too long. I'm not going to frost them until tomorrow. The activity is tomorrow. I feel like if I frost them tonight, the frosting's just not going to be like fresh today at all. I mean, it's not going to be fresh tomorrow. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out. And then tomorrow I will come back in the afternoon and we can frost them together and you can get a good laugh at my frosting abilities because let me tell you it's not my forte i feel like i normally stick to sorry i'm just cleaning up with my fingers i feel like i normally stick to like cookies and brownies and things like that because they don't have to be presented all that nicely um so it'll be quite the challenge so i'm gonna put these in the oven i'll be back in 20 minutes we'll go from there so I just checked the mini cupcakes um, like with a fork and they're pretty much ready. The other ones probably won't be ready, the, like the two random ones I made, probably won't be ready for another five or ten minutes. Um, I'm going to bring these out and show you what they're looking like. I basically, oh, I, this. I basically only cook these for around ten minutes because they are so small. Oh, you can't even see. Let's see. Try not to get this to drop. So, it's so hot. I basically just spent the last 10 minutes watching the second half of the new season of You. If any of you are watching it, it's getting so good. I know a lot of people didn't like the first half, but I enjoyed it. But now what's happening, like all the twists and turns, I'm like shook to my core. Like I was not expecting any of it. I'm going to let these cool, then I'll pull them out and let them cool more on the baking rack. Leave them in there and then I will come back tomorrow and we will make the frosting. Hey. My phone ran out of battery, but deleted some videos on my back. I don't know where I was, but I'm making chocolate frosting. Um, I have butter and dark chocolate over here. Just wanna make sure it doesn't burn. And then now here, I'm gonna be doing powdered sugar, milk, vanilla and salt. After I stopped recording last night, I kind of have a, had a bit of um, a bit of issues with the cupcakes. Um, I didn't grease the tin and so a lot of them ended up sticking to like the rim. I thought because it was silicone it wouldn't, but my bad. So I ended up having to make a second batch just so that I could get enough good ones. The other ones I'll keep and we'll eat, like there's nothing wrong with them. I just like wouldn't want to take them to anybody else to serve. Um, so in case when you notice me frosting and you think there's more than whatever is in the tin, 24, that is why. Um, I could have, I guess I could have came back on and did that, but at that point it was like half night at night. It was too chaotic, but that is the reality of trying to bake. It doesn't always turn out. I'm making half this recipe and I'm hoping that's enough. And I'm just hoping it's nice. So I've got the powdered sugar. And now it says mm, two tablespoons of milk. This is so different because normally you blend, normally you mix the powdered sugar with the butter. So I'm hoping this is good. Two tablespoons of milk. A quarter teaspoon of vanilla, which I don't have time to be made from vanilla. I feel like you can never have too much. And then a little bit of salt. Yes, eh? And you get your handy dandy mixer out. And then we're going to mix this. I'll show you what it's looking like because I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out. And enjoy the singing and stuff in the background. It's very interesting. Um, I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like, and I can't look up the recipe anymore because. Oh, my phone is recording on my phone. So this is just the chocolate and butter mixture. I like double the amount of chocolate because it seems like not a lot of chocolate. 
like it wasn't going to add enough chocolatey flavor so we'll see if that was the right decision or not and here is what's looking like so that's it all mixed together um and now i'm going to do a taste test and then if it tastes good i'm going to put it in the piper bag and put it in the fridge because the butter was melted it's kind of like not as firm as normal Danny's crying. BRB. We have a grumpy princess girl. Let's see if it's Annie approved. What do you think? Mmm. Nice. <laughs> Is that nice? It's honestly, I'm not going to double dip because it's her, but I'll stick the bottom of the spoon. It's not like as chocolatey, fudgy as I want it to be, which is probably because the recipe doesn't call for cocoa powder, but you know what? It's a chocolate sponge, so it'll be fine. I'm gonna set her down, get her lunch, and then I'm gonna put this in the piping bag because I'm not gonna be able to do that with her in tow. I got both kids set up as Cheerios, and now I'm reminded why I don't try to film any sort of fancy videos when the kids are asleep. Here is what it's looking like. I don't know if this is enough, honestly. But the recipe said it made for 24 cupcakes, so I halved it, which would be 12 cupcakes. I mean, I'm making many cupcakes, so I thought that would be enough. But if it's not, I may just do some with just plain chocolate. So, I'm not good at getting this into the piping bag. May cut this out so nobody has to watch me embarrass myself. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to have you help me though. Because mommy's not doing a very good job. I need some help. I probably. Yeah, let's just get this into the fighting bag. Mommy's really messed up. Mommy did not do a good job. Okay. Fun. Yeah, you can try something we say. There's this, there's that there. Get that out of this. You like it? No, not for Granny's birthday. I made, I made it for a party that I'm going to tonight. A church party. Go give your sister a wee look. What I say? She likes it. This was a huge feel getting it into the bag. I did a very bad job. the rest of the container Cheerios on the table which then ended up going on the floor. Anything for five minutes of silence. Right. This needs to go in the fridge now because it's way too soft. So we'll be back maybe half an hour to frost. Say bye! I'm ready to frost. I left it in the kitchen. I mean, I left it in the fridge for too long. So I had to leave it out for like half an hour to an hour. I did a little practice one before I decided to start on camera. Here it is. It's really nothing special. But here is all the cupcakes that I need to ice. I don't know how to record this, like with myself in it and cupcakes maybe you'd rather just the cupcakes maybe you'd rather just me i don't know let's see i'm just gonna have to cut off my head for a bit um when i do this 
Not that I'll be able to really talk much because I feel like it's like when you do eyeliner and you need to give it all your concentration. But I actually tasted the frosting now and it does taste better than I thought it did earlier on. So that's good. It's not my finest thing I've ever baked, but it was stuff that I already had in the house. So it was cheap and easy. And we all know that I like cheap and easy. I just realized I've frosted most of these and I haven't said a single word. That's how into it I am. I'm actually really impressed with how these are looking. Um, these were far better than I expected. I have a couple of um, ones just frosted home. So I'm just going to frost these two because there's more icing left than I thought. But at least I'm not worried about these ones looking anything special. Let's do a little taste test now of the whole thing with this is just one of the like ones at home that didn't turn out that good. I'd rather the cupcake a hair denser, I think would be the word. But all in all, not bad. I feel like they look pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna have one more and then I'm gonna go make dinner. And get ready to go to Pilates to burn all this off. So, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this week's video is a bit all over the place. I'm really just trying to find what kind of content I enjoy posting and what you guys like to see. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Mm -mm -mm -mm.